Hey friends, this is Jason Peters here from nerdvanamedia.com and I'm just going to show you a quick lesson on how to use Microsoft Excel with Adobe Dreamweaver to make your life really simple when it comes to working with HTML tables, especially if it's something that already exists as a spreadsheet and you just want to convert it over into a form you can display on a web page easily. This quick lesson will help you do that. Um, in order to do that, you're going to need access either on a Mac or a PC to Microsoft um, Excel, part of Office, and Adobe Dreamweaver, part of the Adobe Creative Suite. Um, and we're going to start with a file I already have, a spreadsheet, in Microsoft Excel. And the example that we're looking at is math scores for various schools. And this could obviously be a much larger table, but I'm only displaying a few schools and I want to keep it simple for this exercise. But you could do this with much more data than just what we're working with today. You want to make sure first that you can see all of the data you want to format into a table for HTML and then copy it, rope all of the data and copy it with uh, control C or edit copy. And then you're going to go over to Dreamweaver, which I have open, and open a new file. And the document type that you're going to want is HTML. So select HTML and hit Create. And if you're unfamiliar with Dreamweaver, um, part of its allure is that it allows you to see both um, the content of the finished web page and the code behind it at the same time. There's a code view which lets you only see the code, and we see here that Dreamweaver is setting up the essentials for a basic HTML document for us. Very helpful. Or you can see live, which is what the document would look like in a browser. In this case, it's blank because all we have are the skeleton elements of an HTML document, and we haven't filled it with any content yet. And split is the more helpful view, I think, because it lets you see both of those things at once. Of course, Dreamweaver has a pretty sophisticated table builder um, and or you can just um, build tables with raw HTML yourself. But what we're looking at here is kind of a middle ground where if you already have a lot of table data in an Excel spreadsheet um, and don't want to have to reformat it by hand or rebuild it with a table builder, um, you can take it from Excel as we did with uh, copying it. And now I'm going to paste it into taking care not to paste it into the code view, of course, but to paste it into the live view. So I'm going to click in this white area just to make sure I'm there before I hit control V um, to paste to that. And we see that um, Dreamweaver is already formatting it for us or already has formatted it for us as an HTML table with all of the proper tags and elements that that would require. Um, and now I can click in the live view and I can edit that. I can bold the text if desired to make these headers stand out. You know, typical HTML options made very simple for you. Now you want to make sure to save this. Um, so you go to file and save as and you select the location. I'm going to call this math scores and make sure to use the file extension of .html so that this is in fact a web page. That is kind of a very quick and dirty way to take existing table data um, and display it in, as HTML that you can put on a web page without having to do a lot of coding and formatting yourself, although you certainly still have an HTML web page here that you can add more content to of any kind. I hope you enjoyed that quick lesson. I hope it was useful to you. Um, you'll find more content like this on our YouTube channel and at nerdvanamedia.com, and I hope you'll check it out. Thanks.